This is a situation of setting code PO776. Now, uh, really, I mean, when it comes to these Allison units, they set a code PO776 for so many reasons. Uh, they'll almost set that code at the drop of a hat. Uh, in this particular case, and what we're showing you here, the reason why it set the code was the output speed sensor tone wheel had a chip in a tooth. Um, and it set that code. Never set a code for output speed, uh, sensor performance, or anything else. It just set the solenoid B control clutch stuck off code, 776, and that's the only information you had. So typically, what would happen here and where you would uh, probably lead yourself is to an internal problem, uh, because after all, it is a mechanically generated code, and a mechanical generated solenoid code usually indicates a gear ratio error, and of course we always look inside the unit for that. Be careful with output speed sensor issues on these. Whatever is causing the problem with the output speed sensor, and it's almost never an electrical problem, now, that'll store a code. It's always a performance. What do I mean by performance? Uh, there's a problem with the uh, sensor to tone wheel gap, or in this case, there's a chip in the gap, or the tone wheel is uh, not secured. It's moving back and forth because something broke. Uh, in other words, what I mean is it's mechanically generated by uh, an issue that's not electrical is, is the deal. Now, the problem with 776 is there are other things uh, that will cause this uh, to happen. Uh, I've had 776... Uh, caused by a restricted spin-on filter, as you see here. I've had it caused by using a substandard filter. Be careful with this. Uh, you have a magnet that goes up into the recess where the filter screws in. Be careful of some filters. They have a smaller radius in the diameter of the flow holes in, in, the, uh, in the filter. Uh, for oil coming out of the cooler circuit. As you can see on the uh, left-hand side here, that magnet virtually covers uh, the entire uh, row of holes, circle of holes. This is not going to flow very well. It's going to be restricted, and it will store a PO776. It will also raise the uh, transmission temperature uh, some a little bit as well. The one on the right-hand side, you'll notice that the radius is spread out. It's a larger diameter radius. That means the holes can breathe, oil can flow, the magnet's not in the way. So be careful of what kind of filter you're putting in here. Um, as you can see here, uh, substandard filter on the right, radius holes too close, good filter on the left, nice wide radius, uh, no problem at all. All right, now, a leaking case connector. That has been a cause of PO776 as well. Low fluid level, that has been a cause of 776. So take all of these into consideration and don't immediately jump into an internal problem in the transmission uh, when you see this PO776. Make sure nothing is out of the ordinary uh, with all these other systems uh, before you uh, actually condemn uh, the transmission itself. Thank you for watching. For all confirmed fix videos and unlimited technical support, become an ATSG member, your transmission tech solution. Click the membership link below.